Anyway, moving on. This one is a little bit emotional for me because uh, normally for the last 25 years, uh, this, this bloke right here, Don McAllister, has been up here with me. And uh, this year it was a slam dunk when he stepped down last year uh, that we give him the honour of. Not only for his 25 years of the Surfing Walk of Fame, but also for the International Surfing Museum, which he still serves on the board of directors, was around, uh, was around when Natalie started the whole thing, was on the first board. Besides 14 years at City Council and two term, one of the few people that served two terms as the mayor. I think that right there deserves a round of applause. I've had a couple of great adventures with Don. Uh, took him to Australia <laughs> with me uh, for the Australian 50th anniversary of uh, Surfing Australia and uh, on his first trip. And he beat me to the happy hour every freaking day. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and all these years, the 25 years, as you know, we give out these engraved nicks and watches. And he's been going, can't you pull some strings and get me one of those? So now he has one. <laughs> so it's my great honor to hand the microphone over to my great mate, Don McAllister. Before we uh, hear from Don, I want to invite up Mark Carson from Permaco. Mark has been doing in Permaco, the Permaco family has been doing our stones here in Main Street uh, since the beginning. And uh, Mark's uh, got a special relationship with Don. All yours. Yeah, thanks for that intro. Um, I feel really privileged to have worked with Don from the beginning of this uh, really worthwhile organization. Um, his dedication leadership is just unbelievable, and I feel really, really grateful for that. So on behalf of Permaco Granite and Marble, I'd like to give Don this Surfing Walk of Fame Granite Keepsake plaque for his dedication and service. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don McAllister, the mayor. Thank you very much. I'm very honored and proud to be here today. Uh, when we started this, a small group of us thought, we've got to do something about surfing. Surfing in those days, uh, you know, 25, 26 years ago and before that was kind of just a rough shot bunch of guys going down and surfing and enjoying life. They're still doing it today, but it's now become a romantic sport. It's in the Olympics coming up. And I'm happy that to say our surfing community here in Huntington Beach has had a big job in helping to get recognized and we're working close with LA for when it comes to LA to hopefully, if we're lucky enough, make this a surfing village out of the Olympics. I, I've always believed in giving back to the community. You should give 10% of your time or more and that's what I've done. Uh, in all kinds of boards and commissions and things like this. Is it on? Oh, it turned off. Okay. Ah, I hit the button. Okay. Uh, I probably... <laughs> yeah. No. no, I know probably more than half of you out there and worked with you on various boards and commissions and social things in life. Huntington Beach is a great community. I have enjoyed being here uh, since the mid-60s and have watched it grow and happy to be part of it. You know, I'm happy to have been close with PT 
we uh, went to China also, the Silver Dragon. That was quite an experience. And some great people over there we met and everything else. He's heading off there again shortly. Uh, it's an annual event and doing that. It's fun and I've enjoyed being in Australia twice now. And I hope to go back but to be on the West Coast next time and see that. Uh, I'm happy to say I have my whole family here uh, sitting in the one, two, three, fourth row back. <laughs> Yeah. Some of them are in from Texas. Uh, of course, some live here, so uh, they're all here, and it's a, it's a great honor. And thank you very much for uh, giving me this honor today.